we turned this alley into a 3D digital asset using AI. And all I had to do was shoot a video of it with my iPhone. And before you ask, no, this model doesn't stitch photos together like photogrammetry. This is Valinga AI, a new AI tool that creates 3D environments from input video to be used in render engines like Houdini and Unreal Engine. So how does it work? Valinga AI uses NERF, or Neural Radiance Fields. Instead of using the traditional photogrammetry method, NERF uses trained models that corresponds radiance or color and brightness. But what does that even mean? Using all of the input information of light bouncing around objects in a scene, the model can then calculate the geometry of the space even areas not fully covered in its input video. And that's exactly why we picked this alley as our environment. There's different colors, textures, and highlights so it can really show off what Valinga AI can do. Our next step was to film. Valinga's documentation page has instructions on what type of camera moves you should do and how to get the best result out of your input video. The number one tip, never stand still. That is, unless you're doing a vertical jib shot like this. This is what the video looks like for my iPhone. And just like that, this part of the process is done. Great, now we're gonna take that captured footage and upload it onto Valinga's platform on their website. At this point, we download the plugin from Valinga and make sure that it's installed and enabled in Unreal. After some processing time, our 3D asset will be ready for use. But how does the Nerf capture method differ from photogrammetry? At its most basic level, photogrammetry is the process of stitching key points in different images shot at different angles into a 3D asset. And if you have enough well-shot photos all at the right angle, that scan can turn out great. Instead of using individual photos, Nerf uses a trained model that understands how light is cast off of materials and textures, and uses that learned data to analyze the input image. And then it solves what the real life environment should look like and creates it in 3D. But for Nerf to be accurate, it needs to be a really well-trained model that's seen many different instances of how light and materials reflect and refract. In AI terms, it's a diverse data set. Also, although Nerf can predict what the rest of an environment will look like, the better the input data, the better its output will be. All right, our model seems to have solved for our space, so let's see what the environment looks like. The last step is taking that Envil from Valinga and placing it in Unreal. Now, we have our 3D scene. All right, just looking into this right away, it's actually crazy just to think that all I did was film like a video of this space. It's done a really good job of capturing some crazy details of this graffiti. Like, I'm actually super impressed. I also really like that there's like little details. Like, obviously you can tell when I was filming, I accidentally turned down the alleyway. And there's just a little picture of what the rest of the street looks like. And even looking on the other side, because I guess we shot going down this way too, it did a really good job of, of the building that's on the far end of the street. So just to note, I actually haven't done anything to this project. This is directly from Valinga. So is this just the way it is, good enough to shoot on a screen or a background or use as a green screen backdrop? Maybe, but I haven't done anything to it. So again, the fact that everything in 3D space is accurate and there's such detail in like even just individual bricks on the side of the wall, it's a really, really impressive starting point for sure. It also is a good thing to note that this is literally like the first version that's being released to the public of Valinga and there's definitely other things that I could have done to make this better, like make sure that I shoot at the right angles, make sure that I do the camera moves that they instructed the perfect way. But just kind of scrapping this together in five minutes, throwing it on their server and them coming back with this, it is super, super impressive. All right, so if you're interested in Valinga, it actually just came out. We've got a link to it in the description of this video. Possibilities of this technology are honestly endless. If you're a content creator or a filmmaker, Unreal can be super, super daunting. And something like this, just as a baseline, you can go shoot something with your phone and it shows up in 3D in Unreal, is honestly a game changer. Especially considering, again, this is just the first version that we've seen. It's super easy to do and it makes 3D assets accessible to everyone. There are obvious applications for things like virtual production and filmmaking, but I'm curious, where do you see this being used in the future? 